Hello and welcome to the video. Now today we are looking at something that is stretching the very limits of my filming table here because it is a big boy. What we've got here is the KNF Concept tripod and it extends to a maximum of 230 centimeters or 90 inches. So that's pretty flipping huge. That's probably nearly the height of my ceiling. It is very tall and it comes in this box here. So what I thought I'd do in this video is unbox it and then we'd go down on the floor and uh, would have a little bit more room to play with it and have a little feel of it. No, not like that. Anyway, it costs around about £120. Now that does sound like a lot of money for a tripod and it is a lot of money for a tripod. But um, this has got a little trick up its sleeve, which we'll uh, get into. But before I go any further, look. It's Kip Hakes merch. There's a link to the uh, merch shop down below. And basically any merch you buy helps support this channel. And uh, whatever money I make from the merch, I invest back in the channel to buy things like this to film and show you. So uh, yeah go buy some merch. There's all kinds of stuff and you know, you can get stuff with just the little Kip Hakes character on. You don't have to have the full writing like I do. So uh, yeah, let's get it out of the box and see what we've got and um, mm, have a little play. Ooh, okay. Nothing else in the box. I've got this uh, little carry bag. Look at that little handle on the top. That's nice, I like that. The other tripod I got has got a carry bag, but it's in camouflage, so I can never find it. <laughs> so let's undo the Velcro handles and see what's what. Okay, so we've got the tripod itself in the bag. Um, we've got a carrying strap. Let's get the strap on. Admittedly, the plastic clips on here don't ooze quality, but it's functional, it does the job. Now for something that can actually get very, very high up in the air, it's actually quite compact. It's not huge, which I like because it obviously makes it easier for transportation. And it's not particularly heavy. I'm not entirely sure what the weight is, but I'll put that up on the screen for you. Hmm, okay. And uh, then we've got some instructions included. It does look like the instructions are mostly written in Chinese. Oh, and we've also got an Allen key included. Ah, so we do have some English instructions with, uh, yeah, a bit of Chinglish going on. It does feel to me like KNF should be a quality brand, but uh, Yeah, that manual leaves a lot to be desired, but never mind, never mind. It's not often you refer back to a manual of a tripod. So it's got um, legs that can be adjusted and locked with this twisty lock. So let's have a look at the head because we've got a camera that can see it nice and up and close. So here we have the head. So it's got a rather big ball joint here and then we've got markers on here for the full 360 degrees. And then on the top, got a mounting plate. Let's give that an unscrew. I think it's just a standard Arca Swiss mounting plate. Yes, it is. With a little handle guy there to tighten it up. That's very handy because quite often you don't have like a coin in your pocket these days to tighten those things up. So that's handy to have. And also for the more uh, absent-minded, it's actually got the uh, directions on there 
which direction to lock and unlock it, which is very helpful because I always forget with these things. Sometimes it's not always lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, loosey, lefty, that, whatever that thing is. And it does have quite a smooth action to it. Now, most, I am going to be using this for filming, but most of my filming is very static shots. I don't do panning and stuff like that. So if you're into panning and stuff like that, then this might not be for you, but that is actually a nice smooth movement there. I like that. Very fluid. And then uh, at the bottom, it's a little bit hard to see with all these legs splaying around. You've got a little hook there so you can counterweight it if needs be. And uh, possibly at some heights, you might need that just for sort of reassurance. So, um, hmm. I think we've had enough of a look at it here at the table. Let's go onto the floor and uh, see how big we can get this. So uh, here we are on the floor and we've got the tripod set up and it's actually in its lowest position, which makes the camera about, about 54 centimeters off the floor. So that's pretty low for a tripod and uh, hmm, that's cool. But what I'll show you is its little party trick. And I think this is really smart and could be helpful for a lot of vloggers and photographers and stuff like that because look at this. Now you might be thinking, well, that's, that's just great. That's just an extension, but wait for it. So now you can make the camera look down, which would be amazing for macro photography shots. And also if you're making vlogs or videos, you can do some overhead shots with it. Now, this is obviously it at its lowest point, but just imagine we make it a little bit taller. So uh, let's do that. Okay, so we've got the tripod now up at a sort of more standard working height but there is actually a lot more height to go in this, but I haven't put it right to the top yet because quite frankly, I wouldn't be able to really show you or indeed reach. So uh, let's see how high up it is at the moment. So we're about 145 centimeters at the moment, which is a sort of uh, okay working height. But even when it's up high, you can still do the old uh, party trick. Now I've got the Canon M6 Mark II on the end of this. It's not a very heavy camera. It's a sort of standard mirrorless camera. And yeah, it's, it's all right. It's not, it's not feeling like it's unsteady really. I mean, obviously you'd have to be careful around this. Um, and you could add some weight on the hook down there. But yeah, that's a really good way of making overhead shots and um, making content from above. And I suppose also what you could do is you could actually put this tripod up onto a table with the two front legs on the table at a slightly lower height and have the back leg supporting it. So you could even do videos at a table with like drawing or something like that. That would work really well. Now what happens if we put it really high? Okay, now it's so high, you can't actually see the camera. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, the camera pretty flipping high. Now, I probably wouldn't stick like a kilogram's worth of camera up on there with it being bent down in this kind of position, but it sort of works okay on this mirrorless camera. So that's quite cool. Now let's put it back to sort of a normal mode and then uh, make it as high as we can. I think we might be limited by the ceiling though. As I suspected, <laughs> we can't go any higher because it's actually on the ceiling. 
that is insane. So if you wanted to set your camera up and sort of high and wide shots, this would be perfect. Now you probably either need a step ladder or a way of controlling your camera through your phone or something like that, because obviously you can't touch the camera when it's that high. Hmm, maybe, uh, maybe I'll take it outside and we'll give it a little go and see it at its full height and film from the camera up there. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's do that. There we go, that is absolutely insane. Let me show you what I can see. Now, I actually think that's taller than 230 centimeters. Not much taller, but definitely taller. And it creates quite a nice shot for a sort of bigger area. So I can imagine it's going to be some use for me, especially if I'm doing stuff out here, I can show you pretty much the whole space in one shot, which is very, very smart. And also I'm gonna do some car stuff as well. So that gives a option of some high angles there. And also if I do any DIY and put some stuff up on the walls of the house, then uh, you can be there with me. It's very, very impressive. Anyway, let's go back upstairs and finish up. Now, something else I like about this KNF concept tripod is the fact that it turns into a monopod as well. So one of the legs here can be released. And there you go, that is a monopod. And uh, we can actually take this head off and put it onto here. So there you go, you can actually walk around with your camera on the end and uh, use this as a monopod and extend it for some on-the-go shooting. I mean, I feel like Gandalf holding this, but you know, you shall pass, I guess. That's really cool. And also it can double as a walking stick, which is something I need at the moment. So there we go, that is the K and F concept 90 inch tripod slash monopod with the extendable arm for overhead shots. Now I'm quite looking forward to using this because having two tripods, especially when I shoot on my own, is going to be wonderful because I can set up two different shots and cut between the two of them, much like I'm doing now. And uh, it just adds a little bit more sort of interest. And also it means I don't have to retake things from a different angle. It can all be done in one hit. And also it would be good to sort of, if I'm doing more outsidey things and stuff like that, it would be nice to give you a sort of better overview of what's going on. And I think in the future, we're going to be doing some more bits and bobs out in the garden. So to give you a nice wide shot of the garden would be really wonderful. So I'd probably come back in a few months and do a long-term review of this because obviously this is just initial first impressions, but it's very good. Now, as I said earlier, I probably wouldn't be sticking cameras that weigh a ton on the overhead arm and expecting it to be perfectly stable, especially if you don't have any added weights onto the little hook there, um, because it, it's not really designed for that. It's more sort of smaller DSLRs and mirrorless cameras that I think that arm's designed for. But it is a fairly nice product. It all looks very well presented. It feels nice to handle. So, you know, it is a good product, but just don't expect it to give you the world because you might end up with a smashed camera. But I think for my purposes and other sort of vlogging purposes, if you want to get some higher up shots or some really low shots, then uh, this could be the guy for you. Well, that is it from me. I really hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, then please ensure you give it a like. And if you don't already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow. Um, thank you so much to all the people who joined the channel. If you join the channel, then you can access some additional perks. And if you join from the 4 dollars and above perk, you get to see videos like this before anyone else. So I think that's it from me. So for now, it's game over.